It is Section 2, Boys Lancaster 11 League Baseball tonight on Blue Ridge 11 as the Effort of Mountaineers welcome in the Conestoga Valley Buckskins. So the team lead and runs batted in with nine. Ground ball in the hole and off the glove of Landis and no play. And coming in to score is McCracken. And the Mounts will take a 1 0 lead. Yeah, another nice pitch. He, he once again came in on the hands and Got a ground ball, not hit real hard. Landis just could not quite come up. You saw the head pop up a little bit. He was trying to figure out where he was going to go with the ball right to the shortstop. That should have been made. Line shot. That's a base hit. That's going to plate one. Here comes a second run. The throw is cut off. It's a two-run single for Brendan Kapzinski. And the mound's taken early, 3-0 lead. Yeah, great piece of hitting right there. You're going to see this pitch kind of up and out, and uh, uh, Kaczynski does a great job of not trying to do too much. Just take it where the ball is pitched, barrels it up, drives it to uh, right center field gap, scores the two runs on two uh, with two outs. They're moving on contact. So, Kapczynski, a pretty big lead over there at first, and they've got a throw, and they've got him in a rundown. And no throw, and now they've got a rundown at third base, sliding in and applying the tag, and tagging out the runner, Ben Berkey, to end the inning. McCracken with a single and a stolen base, and he gets hit. Second hit batter by Evan Wilson, and now the mount runners at first and third with two down. Base, good chance the runner's scoring. There he goes, and the ball deflects off the mitt of Daniels, and coming in to score is Nixon to make it 4 nothing. Yeah, another pitch up and out of the zone, and uh, Daniels came up, and, and I'm not sure if he was in a little bit of a, a rush to, to try to throw McCracken out. He pops up. There you see, he, he never looks it into the glove. Yeah. He was looking to uh, kind of peek down, see where McCracken was to see if he was going to fake the throw, throw it to the cutoff, what he was going to do, and then uh, by not looking into a glove, it pops out, and they score an easy run. Two hit by pitches already. Ground ball. Back behind second and under the glove of Landis. That's going to plate two runs. A two run single for Ryan Bromerski. And it is now 6 0 effort up. Yeah, and again, uh, give Coach Shelley credit. Put Bromerski in that uh, cleanup spot. Two men on. Didn't a uh, nice swing, but didn't have a lot of contact. But uh, you saw Landis was playing a little bit shaded towards the pool side and just couldn't get it. And with two outs. Hurst is going to score easily from second base two. No, especially last year with what Warwick achieved. Just to hear what Coach Weissmandel might have been saying during throughout the game. That one gets through the legs of Gola and everybody will move up. Landis at third, Burkett at second. And the count now three and one to Caden Fisher. There you're going to see Gola. He gets down and just doesn't get the, the glove down in time. Oh, and a good-looking pitch, and Beautiful he's got pitch. Fisher down on strikes. Yeah, that's a huge out, and that's a great pitch. That's that uh, hard curveball slide or whatever it is. Evan Wilson, and it did clip his jersey. So he's going to be hit by a pitch. He'll be credited with a run batted in. Luke Landis comes in to score, and it's now a 6-1 ball game. Yeah, I think he got that protective uh, guard just above the elbow. He knew it right away. He turned and looked. And, and you're going to see that the home no, plate umpire the didn't call it right away. He kind of looked, and then uh, you saw Wilson sell it, and then he <laughs> gave it to him. But it did uh, that. Years. Ground ball wide at third, and it's through the hole on the left side for a base hit and get guys in scoring position. Throw and it gets away from Espenshade and so Prang will take second. He'll look. B. One, two, slow roller up to third. Laps only play is to first where he will get Berkey and Prang comes in to score. And the mounts now lead it seven to one. Another balk. Oh, my. Yeah, and, and you wonder, part of this just might be fatigue now with, with Wilson. 
2-2 pitch. Grounded to the hole and under the glove of Landis. This is going to play two more runs. And Coy Schwanger with a two-run single. And it's 9-1 Efforto. And I was just about to say, if, you, if you're uh, Evan Wilson out on the hill, you had the base open. Don't make a mistake to uh, a really quality hitter in uh, Cole Schwanger. And he did. Wasn't a terrible pitch. It was down in the zone a little bit. So question, 9-1 lead. This is a, a chance to uh, let him work his way out of it. Well, there's a base hit into left field. One run is in. Here comes the second. It's going to be a two-run single for Jude Thompson. And it's a 9-3 ball game. And here comes Adrian Shelley. Yeah, a great job by the CB batters. Back-to-back -back pinch hit uh, singles. Come off the bench cold. Great job of coming up and uh, driving in two runs right there by Thompson. Nice pitch. Comes with the fastball and drops it in over second base into right field. Evan Lapp with his first hit of the ball game. And he's a one out base runner. Breaking ball slowly hit past the mound. Tough play and a throw in first in time. Nicely done by Drew Hurst. Yeah, and uh, Zimmerman out of first base. First off, a great job by Savage not going after that ball. Hurst gets to it, comes up, makes that throw, and, and Zimmerman, who's not your typical first baseman, does a great job of staying down, took the hop off the, the turf. I'll tell you what, though, fans haven't left. They're still <laughs> hanging in there. No, the umbrellas have come out. And they were more prepared than I was. I guess I was trying to be confident that the worst was over, but you showed me the radar, and I was like, <laughs> oh, geez. 3-2, lifted, shallow center, going back his hat, and it's going to fall in between for a base hit. Yeah, I think a little bit of uh, miscommunication there. You saw uh, hat at second baseman, second base going out, Bermersky coming in. And at the last second, you see him really kind of stretch for it, and then uh, Bermersky pulls up and falls between them. And we are in a, uh, it, it, it's a complete game, so if they do end up calling it, the mouse again, you see uh, Savage, he, he's gonna ask for uh, a new ball. That's the big key right now uh, for Ephrata. They're gonna have to have a lot of uh, game balls ready that they can bring in because uh, for the pitchers, it, it's it's going to get very slick. Three balls and two strikes to Caden Fisher. Strike three called on the inside corner. There's that pitch with the hook again. He gets the, the fresh dry ball and he just drops this and totally freezes Fisher. Locks him up and, and puts it. That's, that's such a good pitch. Uh, Lots of that downward spin and put it right on the inside, uh, the inner half of the plate. Pitch fly ball on the right field. Battling the raindrops. <laughs> McCracken makes the catch and ends the inning. Nothing across for the Buckskins. We move to the bottom of the sixth, maybe. 9-3 Ephrata. Well, we're back in Ephrata and we are now in a rain delay as the umpires are going to try and wait this one out. So they have come out and covered the pitcher's mound. So a rain delay here at Ephrata War Memorial Field with the mound leading by a score of 9-3. to three. 